This is Zach Miller, founder and editor at Tearsheet. I wanted to invite you to Tearsheet's latest event, the Day-to-Day -Day Conference. A big theme on this program and in our reporting has been about how financial data is the underpinning of modern financial services. From data aggregation to using big data to comb through customer behavior, financial ecosystems are growing up around banks and fintechs through data aggregators. The Day-to-Day -Day Conference brings together financial services, fintech, and vertical industries looking to create new financial products and services through leveraging customer data in their own firms and across the entire industry. We've got a great speaker lineup. Register today by going to our website and clicking on the Day-to-Day -Day Conference button at the top right of your screen. My name is Hossein Glanema. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, Quibits. I'm also a professor of computer science at Ryerson University in Toronto, Canada also a visiting professor at MIT Media Lab in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Flybits is a spin-off from a research lab. The foundation of it uh, came from my uh, PhD research, which was about understanding context in large data sets. So I spawned that off from the lab about five years ago, and now Flybits is a venture-backed company uh, headquartered in Toronto, and we have offices in New York, San Francisco, London, and Dubai. Like one of the key uh, drawbacks and limitations of artificial intelligence is the lack of domain knowledge and understanding context. So, for example, it's very difficult for an AI engine to understand the need of a parent when uh, he or she is at home versus the need of that parent when he or she is a business professional traveling and require like uh, cross-border travel services. Uh, you can train a lot of AI algorithms to understand the patterns, to predict patterns, but understanding that context and domain knowledge in AI system has always been uh, a key impediment of such systems. So the focus that I had in my research was about bringing context and the world of ontologies into the AI world and really apply that to digital channels such as apps and, and web pages. So when you are, your context basically determines the behavior of the experience that you're seeing on a digital channel. So we created something with them on their mobile app called tv for me that when you activate it, think about it as an embedded Siri or an embedded Google Now on their app that can understand the needs of their customer and proactively provide them services that are relevant to them. Few examples there. For example, if my mortgage is up for renewal in the next three months, if I am walking by a branch and the branch happens to have a mortgage specialist available at that time, I receive a message on my device inviting me to go to the branch to renew my mortgage. Go to tearsheet.co to register for the day-to-day -day conference.